All right, the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is make a little dummy of uh, your page spreads. And you're just gonna go through, you're gonna get enough sheets of paper for the number of pages you're gonna have. And each sheet is going to be four pages. That's two pages on the front, two pages on the back. And you're gonna number each of those just so you have a guide for when you're gonna start working and placing your files digitally in InDesign. So you wanna make this thing in real life, just grab some paper real quick number them and you can see how this is going to work. All right, so now that you've got your dummy made, I'm going to show you how to set up these spreads in InDesign. Before you do that, make sure you've got all of your pages in the same folder and that they're marked and numbered. So this is from my comic, Go Fuck Myself 3. These are the first 12 pages. I've already got my InDesign file made, but I'm going to show you how I've set it up. So if you go up to File, Document Setup, when you create this file, you're going to be doing it this way. If you're making 12 pages or you want your, your comic to have 12 pages when it's done and you want it to be five and a half by eight and a half. So you'll see here it's number of pages. It's six because there's two pages per spread. And then the page size itself is going to be 11 by eight and a half. The margins are gonna be a quarter all the way around. Same for the bleed, but you probably won't be even using the bleed yet, so don't worry about that. Um, so feel free to pause on this or whatever if you wanna make your document and make it look the same way. Uh, before I get into my pages and how I have them numbered, I'm gonna talk about uh, using a master to do some pre-formatting. So if you go to Window and then Pages, it'll get you to this area. What I've done is I've set up some ruler lines and I drag, drug them to the center at five and a half. And then I made two more, one at 5.25 and then one at 5.75 so that my pages will have that equal margin around the whole thing, right? So what you can do in a master is that you can have it apply to all of the different pages that you're gonna be using in your file. And before you start placing the pages or the files onto uh, your spreads, one thing I like to do is go over here in the tools, the rectangle frame I'll draw a rectangle from here to here, and that'll come up as, as um, five by eight, basically. So make sure it's five by eight. And then right click and go to fitting, frame fitting options. You wanna go to make sure auto fit is on and then fit content proportionally. It's gonna help you save a, a bunch of time when you're adding all your pages in. All right, you got that. You wanna make a copy of that and then put it over on the other side. Cool, so the changes I just made will apply to every page that's in this document. So I'm gonna go to the first spread, number one here. And you'll see I have these labeled like I have on my, like I had on my, my, my dummy, just the paper dummy that I showed you at the beginning. So one is with 12, 11 and two, 10 and three, four and nine, eight and five, six and seven, right? So that when you print this out, all of your pages will line up when you fold these, these uh, pieces of paper together and you, you saddle stitch it in the center, or, which is also stapling. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start placing my pages. Hit Control D, which is place. Shortcut for that is Control D. And I'm going to take all of my pages that I have in here in that folder that you made, keeping everything together. I'm going to open them all at the same time. All right. Make sure you don't have any of this stuff selected because you don't really need it. Open. And it's going to open these in order. So when I place this object into the frame I created in the master, it's going to automatically resize that image for me and, and keep it proportionally where it should be. So that's page one, page two, three, four, five, six, seven, going back, eight, nine, 10, 11, and 12. So for this first comic that you'll be printing, this to me is the easiest way to get it done. Make sure you save it. And then I'll show you kind of how I have this set up. Over here, you want options, all layers. Setup is, you're gonna be doing this to whatever printer you're gonna be using. I'm gonna be using my home printer, with his, which is a brother. All right. You wanna make sure this page position is centered. The width is 100% all the way. You shouldn't need to hit scale to fit. That should be fine. Marks and bleed, that's all fine. Output, mine is gray, so I'm changing it to that. Graphics, this should be changed to all instead of any of these other things. And that should be good. When I go to print, and usually printers will have this option where you can tell it to double side print. Also known as duplex. So you want to tell it to duplex, duplex settings. And then you want it to be on the short edge. That's that means you're going to be flipping the page the eight and a half by 11 or the 11 by eight and a half onto its shortest edge so that the pages will come out correctly when you print them. Go ahead and hit print. Let's see how we did. Here comes that sweet, sweet comic coming straight out the oven. It's all warm. And then here's the result. So if you plan everything correctly, you're going to have these pages all lining up so that when you put your spreads together, these three sheets of paper, four pages per side, it's all going to line up correctly. And then I have something that's a, a booklet maker. So you are a booklet stapler. You grab this thing, throw some staples in that bad boy. And you've got your own homemade comic book. Success.